so I was sitting there and I was crocheting Jennifer's Mermaid and I realized that the yarn that I was going to use for the skin was like white white <laughs> like <laughs> I was going uh, this isn't going to work <coughs> excuse me and so the last time that I had to go to Michael's to find <sighs> Chenille's Home Slim in a skin tone that I could handle they didn't have any I really hate going to Michael's and Walmart because Walmart only has blanket yarn pretty much and Michael's never has what I need <clears throat> and I need it now that's the problem is that you know if I need something I don't need it like next week or two weeks from now I need it now and so I have to go to Michael's and try and figure something out so I guess we're gonna go and we're gonna see hopefully we'll get lucky okay so the light in here is crap sorry it's the lights coming from above so it's all over the place um, I just came back from Michael's because <clears throat> as I said before I needed to get some yarn for skin tone for Jennifer's um, mermaid and of course I couldn't figure out what to get so I got three and I'm just like oh <sighs> I just can't so I got this one and I think this one is like the one that I have I had to go look at it but it's chenille home slim and the color is There's no color. Oh, here it is. Seed Pearl. It's actually more yellow than what it's showing. <clears throat> it's more of a cream. But I'm going, ugh, I think that's going to be too light. So then I got this one. And this is called Blush. And it's like, ugh. It's more like that. It's like a, um, Dusty rose, kind of like light, light, dusty rose. That one's a possibility. And then I got this one. And this one's actually... It's like that. Um, this is like tanned skin or something. This is... Uh, where is it? It's called Sand. Or sable. So I'm not sure. Do I give it a summer pink glow? No, sorry. A winter, winter a wintry, wintry color, wintry, you know, untanned color? Or do I give her a summer tan color? I don't know. <clears throat> Because with the yarns that I want to use, I think the pink's not going to work. I think this might work better. But I don't know. Because Jennifer's pretty fair. So I think it's going to be between these two. This one might be too dark. I don't know. Oh, you guys, I just don't know. <clears throat> um, on another thought, I've been seeing this book going around a lot in the crochet community. And it's Mama Made Minnie's Knotted Lovies. So I decided to get it. And I was trying to start making the unicorn and I didn't even get past the first part, the ears. It starts with the ears. And I can't, for the life of me, understand what they're talking about for the ears. Because 
the way it almost looks like a flat panel like when it's done and the and if you look at the actual ears that doesn't look like a flat panel and I think I'm doing it completely wrong. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I don't know how I can get it screwed up. But it's not coming out right. And I'm getting really frustrated. I have frogged it a couple of times. Actually, more than a couple of times. Because it, it just does not look right. And um, I'm really frustrated already. And I didn't even get past the first part. I don't know. Oh. So anyway, <clears throat> let me know if you've got if you got this book and how you did. If it all made sense to you. Um, am I the only one that's having an issue? Because on all of these, if you look, all of these look like it's two pieces, like a front and a back piece sewn together to make it thick. And it's not like that. It, it tells you to make two pieces, not four, two. And they're just not working out for me. So, I don't know, maybe I'll try with a different animal and see if I can figure out their ears. <sighs> I'm so excited about that. <laughs> so, so, anyway, something else I saw. I went to um, the drugstore to see if I couldn't get something for this sinus headache. <clears throat> and they gave me something. And I went and I got some Kit Kats. Like mini Kit Kats. And they're actually in the shape of... Oh, I didn't bring the box in. They're in the shape of like Dracula and stuff. So I really wanted to see. I thought it, oh, this is Frankenstein. Oh, can you see him? It's Frankenstein. That's so cute. Let's see. I brought three in. Let's see if I got the same ones. Oh, it's a bat. <laughs> That's so cute. And let's see if I got the same. Oh, I got another bat. I <clears throat> The other one is um, Dracula, I think. And then I don't know if, what the other ones are. But they're so cute. <laughs> I thought, yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Am I supposed to be having these? No. But. Oh, well. Can I just say the difference between Chenille Home and Chenille Home Slim? There's a massive difference between the two. <laughs> right now, I'm using Chenille Home. And this reminds me so much of blanket yarn, and I hate it with every fiber in my being. It squeaks on my hook, and it's so thick and so unmanageable that it's taking me forever just to do one row. It doesn't glide at all like Chanel Home Slim. You hear that? That's like, that's the sound of rubbing on a balloon. It drives me bananas. But I loved the color. So, and I love Jennifer. So I am going to do this for her. So, yeah. And also, it I'm not a knife holder, but because of this kind of yarn, I have to hold my hook like a knife, and I am not used to that. So, I'm my hand is like doing this whole thing and I'm going because if I do it like a pencil, like this, whoops, then it's like really hard. I go faster, but it's, it's difficult because it hurts my hands, it hurts my fingers. <clears throat> so, 
Mm. Oh, and also, remember that this is the stash bag that I was telling you guys about. Um, these that I was showing you, somebody had asked me what they were like to crochet with, and I was going to do a video kind of on it. One thing I do notice with these, if you're crocheting something, like if you're a pencil holder like me, if you're crocheting something with um, regular yarn, then it's fine, right? It's like, no problem. If you're using it for amigurumi, and if you're like, if you are, you are a tight crocheter, these little grooves might hurt your fingers a little bit. Um, if you're a loose crocheter like me, it's not so bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I do notice that when I crochet plushies and stuff like that, this, these are not good for that. Because it, it, the grooves do hurt your fingers a little bit. But if you're just doing like a regular crochet for, you know, anything else with regular acrylic yarn, they're great. So, but I really like them. I like the way they feel. So, yeah. <laughs> is trying to strangle me <laughs> this is the only way that I can put her so that I can see what I'm doing <laughs> it's like <laughs> so just have her nuzzled up to me and because uh, it's like there's a lot here to have to deal with <laughs> so, <laughs> it is what it is you just gotta do what you got to do to get through it. <laughs> also, you remember how I was telling you guys about this board and how it makes your um, row count so much easier? I realized who I learned this from. Refined Vibes. Look. <laughs> she has one. <laughs> so she's the one that I heard about this. <laughs> Just saying. Hey, you guys. Okay, so... <laughs> you guys are going to think I'm nuts, but whatever. Um, I'm I'm working on the head for the um, mermaid. And I went, oh, i got to put something in the neck. Right? And usually you use a dowel or curlers or something. Then I got this idea. And I went to the dollar store. And I bought... <clears throat> or not the dollar store. I went to the um, Asian store that we have here and I got a pack of plastic chopsticks and I took four chopsticks and I put elastic band around them and I put it in the middle and it goes all the way down to here and so it's stable like that head ain't going nowhere <laughs> um, <clears throat> and the neck I, I stuffed the crap out of the neck, so it's very stable. Um, so I I'm, I think that's going to work out just great. So, and I finished the eyes last night. You want to see them? Oops, hang on. I'm all tangled up in yarn. 
What do you think of those? Purple and pink. Isn't that cute? Oh, I think she's so pretty. And when she gets her purple hair, I think she's going to be so cute. I still have to do the edging on here. And I got to do her um, arms and stuff. But, and I have to close up the head. But I think those are cute. They're the offset eyes. So, yeah. I think she's cute. <clears throat> Not sure if I'm going to put eyelids on her. Because I don't want to take away from the um, the color of the eyes. But I might try it just on one just to see how much it covers. Uh, and just see what happens. So, so yeah, that's my ingenious idea. <laughs> they work out quite well. So, because that head is not moving. So, yeah. So, there you go. Hi, Yarnabees. So, she's done. <laughs> I didn't film um, me making the hair and all that kind of stuff. I just, yesterday I had to go to my sister's place and then I had to go and meet Terry, the lady that um, took care of my shop for me. Uh, she ordered a couple t-shirts. <clears throat> so I had to take those out to her. So I didn't get, I, I didn't start crocheting again until last night. And so I finished her today, like about a half an hour ago. Because <laughs> I went and had a shower. Because <laughs> I hadn't been out of bed all day. And it's like 4.30. So I wanted to get her done. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so uh, I'm ready to see her. Oh, God, I hope Jennifer, Jennifer, I hope you like her. I'm just so like, ah. God, I hope you like her. Oh, okay, here she is. Okay, let's fix your hair. Make sure that you look all presentable. Okay, you ready? Here she is. So I did two colors of purple in her hair. I did the variegated color as well as the regular color. And I gave her a tiara and I put a, a starfish on her and I gave her the the top is actually um shell like that what the heck is that shell called I can't remember what the shell is called but anyway it's uh one of those loopy shell things <laughs> so yeah so there she is you guys what you think? I thought she was worthy of a tiara because Jennifer is is a princess. So, so that's her. There she is. Here's her little arms. She's got her arms. She's got a lot of hair. Because <laughs> Jennifer's hair is thick. So I figured, you know, I could do the two layers of purple because her hair went from really really dark purple and it's starting to lighten up again so yeah so there she is her little fins well big fins <laughs> so yeah and then her shirt is tied up in the back she's got her little ties here so yeah what do you think ah no oh, jennifer i hope you like her I, I gave her a belly button and then I thought, no, I'm not going to give her a belly button. Right. Cause I did the belly button like this and it just, it didn't look right. Hi. <laughs> so yeah. So I hope you like her. But there's crochet B. <laughs> so there's a closer look at her tiara. It's heart, heart on the top. So yeah. So there she is. So yay. So I'm going to get her out in the mail, hopefully tomorrow. I'm just waiting for Jennifer to get back to me um, with her address. I have an address for her, but I can't remember if that's an old address or if it's her same address or, and I can't find the book that I've got it in. So <clears throat> I just asked for a new one. <laughs> so yeah, so she's going to be going out tomorrow and I'm hoping that Jennifer's going to get her in a timely manner. 
So then you can go over to Jennifer's channel, which I will link down below, but everybody knows Jennifer from Cinema Stitches. Um, and you can see her with it in her hot little hands. So I hope it makes her feel better. Um, I know she's Jennifer's having a tough time. And, uh, and I hope that she can hold on to this mermaid and hug her. And I hope it gives her some peace. And um, mermaids are magical. So hopefully it can help her heal and inside and out. So, yeah. So Jennifer, if you name her, I want to know what you name her. <laughs> so, okay. So there it is. That's it for me for this video. Thanks for joining me. And uh, don't forget to do all the things. Do the subscribe and the like and the this, this and the that and the, all that kind of stuff. And I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye. Say bye.